Hey everyone, it's hey everyone, it's Nancy with She's Got Yarn. This is gonna be part two of box number one. I've already done this video once, but I can't figure out which one it is. So bear with me here. We got more. Okay, the next color is can't ever have enough of it. White. And it seems like the black solid is thicker than all the rest. I just might be me, but no. I think the, I don't have the black out, but I think the black solid is a little thicker than the rest of the ones I've noticed. I may be wrong. You can call me crazy. But this is white, and I got three of them. And it's shiny and pretty. Okay. Um... Uh-oh. I can slide this chair. I'm going to put wheels on this chair, or I need to put felt under it. That's what I need to do so it slides easier. I moved the rug a long way so I could slide back and forth because I like kind of videoing here and crocheting here and hanging out with you guys. I hear some of you enjoy hanging out with me. I think that's kind of cool. It's just hard to download those videos. It takes a day or two. I don't care what kind of internet you got. All right, this is called gray. And it's very pretty and shiny. And this looks a little bit thicker too. You know, it just might not be that tight. Yeah, cause it's kind of splitty. It looks like it could be splitty yarn. See, it's not wound that tight. It's like a four, it's got four strands <gasps> excuse me i still have a lot to learn when it comes to ply and stuff how it, like two ply eight ply all that i'm still kind of ignorant to to that terms yeah crystal needs to go over that with me again <laughs> i like it when she does videos like that educational about the plies and how things are wound because, I mean, it helps us with our channels, you know? So, this is a hat and a scarf. Solid gray. I got three of them. So, okay. Alright, what's next? I got some more of the black and gray. I got three more of the, what was it called? Nightlight or night? I want to say nightmare, but it's not nightmare. What is it called? Nighttime. I got three more. Oh boy. Oh boy. And then I got three of the, I didn't take that out of the package because you've already seen that one. So this one is, it's got like beige in it, Sand Dollar. I like that color. It's like a neutral. It would go with anything, you know? And I know a lot of these, I was watching some channels that, that do the craft fairs. There's some, some, um, Con content creators or um, they do a lot of colors and there's some that strict with uh, basically strictly stick with like beige cream red black like tan you know those colors they seem to sell more than the multicolored you know I've heard don't this isn't concrete. It's just, you know, I listen to different opinions. Everybody has their own opinions, but there are some that have done very well at craft shows. And I can't remember the, um, the channel, but she shows you how to set up a booth and what attracts people on the booths, how you set them up. And they, um, they do tutorials on that. And I can't remember her name. I'm so sorry. If I can find her name, I'll definitely um, put it in the description box below. So, but I've, 
subscribe to so many channels, um, it's almost like I'm lost, you know, except the girlfriends I hang out with every day, you know, in Zoom. I can remember their channels and it's hard enough for me to remember how to say it correctly. But there you go. Isn't that pretty? I think it's very pretty. But, I mean, $3.99. 543 yards. It would be a deal with 500 yards. It'd be a deal with 350 yards, you know? I mean, because yarn, you remember the beginning of the year, yarn was $12.99. I mean, but yeah. They got me. And thank goodness before, what was it? Um, Laura, Mad Mimi, she's like, I, she always double dog dares me or challenge. She says, no yarn till the, the end of October. Thank God it's over in a couple days because she, she dared me not to buy yarn. Thank God I got this before she dared me. <laughs> or she challenged me because I would have been bad. Yep, yeah, I would have been bad girl. Talking about the sad girl. Okay. Let's put these down here. Because I think we're going to do one more layer. It looks like we might have to. But, okay. Wait a minute. I got, I got four of these limes. I got an extra lime, I think. I don't know. I'll go over this again. And then I got some more of these. This is the... So daggum tiny. It's the serious gray. I got three more of the serious gray. Wowza. All right. Okay, that's all the bobbins. I think we're doing good. This is awesome. I should have went that way with it. Oh, well. My husband thinks I'm crazy. He thinks I'm crazy. All right. Now we got some more yarn. I could not resist getting this because the price was dirt cheap. It is called Fiber Na Na Nature Whisper Lace Final Sale. And it was $3.99, I think, for all of these. I'm pretty sure. I can't remember y'all. They've got a price here. It says $3.99. Maybe it's $3.99 a piece. But look at the colors. Isn't that beautiful? All right. It's really fine yarn, but I'm knitting now. I haven't knitted in a couple weeks. Well, yeah, it's been a couple weeks. I've been so busy with other stuff. I really miss it. And come the new year, I'm going to focus on knitting. And, um, yeah, because I really enjoy it. I'm going to have a crochet. I'm, I, I'll do something. Usually me and Charm Grammy will do something together. Um, Pamela Doreen Crochet, she's somebody else I've done stuff with. I haven't done anything with her in a while. I kind of feel bad because I love Pamela. But, okay. Whis Whisper Lace. But she understands. She knows I'm busy. Fiber Natural. It's really fine. But that would be pretty, like, as a sweater. It's wool. 
superwash wool, 70%, 30% silk, 70% sole, and 70% seta. Is that right, y'all? Explain that to me. The way they've got it, it's confusing. 30% wool, 30% lana, 30% lana. Or is it 70% wool? I mean, this is all confusing. It can only be 100%. You can't add 70 and 70 in the same ball. Kind of confusing, but and it says for knitting lot 7019. The color is Alhambra color 210. But I mean, it's soft for wool, it's real soft, but you can tell it's wool. Yes, I love the colors. I love look at the. I love it when Crystal does that with yarn. Look at all the colors there. Look at how beautiful that is. But I got, and how many, how many yards are you? 440 yards in this. It's a thin yarn, but still 440 yards. And I got five of them. Five of them for, I think it's only like, I'll say three ninety nine. I may be wrong. It may be three ninety nine times five. I don't think so though. I'm a little confused about how they did this. I spent $116 and got $121 discount, but then I spent $191 and still got a $121 discount again. That don't make sense to me. I don't know. Okay, next. I bought this because somebody sent a boggy blanket and made it out of this color in this DK color infusion. I've never used this yarn before. The blanket was lovely. Yes, I had to get this. When I saw it was, I don't even know if it was on sale. Um, $5.49. Yeah, I think it's $5.49 a piece. You guys have seen this yarn. I've seen this yarn at Joann's or Michael's. I can't remember which one. Premier. It was Michael's. And um, 298 meters, 325 yards. And I always walk by it. But worked up, it's gorgeous. And they, I believe they used Granny Stitch. I don't know, it was just beautiful. But it's 100% acrylic. 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 298 meters. It's a DK weight. It is the hook. Oh, I didn't tell you what these bobbins, the hook size, did I? Oh, goodness, y'all. I'm a slacker. The, these are not considered number four, and the hook size recommended, you can't read. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I can't read it, y'all. I'll get back to that. I'm going to have to get a pair of glasses. And then I don't have a pair over here. But this one's a US 5 knitting needle and US 4 crochet hook. Look at those colors. They're just fall colors. I think it's, I just think it's beautiful. I don't want to mess it up. Well, I already did, didn't I? Dum dum. It had a pretty swirl, but anyways, absolutely gorgeous. And I got 
five because I want to make a blanket just like that that blanket that was made so whoever made an infusion blanket thank you thank you thank you oh all right we're almost done